Howdy everybody, it's Kentucky Ranger and uh, another one of my Ranger tech tips or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Anyhow, subject of this video is this little baby I got right here. I um, have no idea what the company is. It's some company in China makes it. Anyhow, uh, my iPhone 8 Plus has the ability for wireless charging so I bought this it's only like nine bucks and I thought got it off of eBay <laughs> I thought hey cool you know give me a wireless charger I sure ain't paying 60 bucks for one and uh, yeah I thought yeah why not so I got it and put the phone on the charger showed in photos, I turned it sideways, it should work too. And no charge. No chargey. Okay, so I started playing with it. And, uh, well, actually, before I start playing with it, what happened, I got a hold of the seller and uh, I wanted an exchange. I didn't want a refund or anything. I just said, hey, uh, let me send this back to you and send me another one. There's something wrong with it. Well, they just sent me a refund. They're like, uh, as long as you leave us positive feedback, we'll just refund your money. I was like, okay, <laughs> you know, whatever. So anyhow, uh, and they didn't want me to send this back. They just said, just keep it because it, it costs too much money to ship it back and all the stuff. So I'm like, great, okay, whatever. So anyhow, I was goofing with this. You know, start moving the phone around a little bit on here. Oop, hey, do you see that? Can you see that? It starts charging. Okay, it won't charge down here. Let's see if I can get close here so you can see the little battery indicator. It turns green when it's charging. Okay, so I move it up a little bit. Huh. And lo and behold, it starts charging. I'm like, huh, okay. So I turn it this way, I think, hey, cool, it's, uh, but how am I going to, you know, what, what about this way? <laughs> so I started uh, moving it down, real slow, let's see something here, oh, hey, guess what, see that, it went away, oh, it's just barely doing it, okay, so I thought, hmm. So my little old mind got to working, and I thought, I could see the, what it's called, what's it called, QI charging, QI, QI charging, whatever they call it. Um, what it is, is inside here, I'll, I've got pictures up, in, uh, I'll show you. Uh, here in the phone itself, uh, right about here, right about in the middle of the phone, there's a coil, and on these chargers and the reason that they they advertise that you can do it landscape or portrait is because behind this plastic you're going to see this when I start to tear this down I'm sure uh, there's there's two coils one goes this way and the other goes this way and it it's to wireless wirelessly charge no matter which way you put it so uh, I thought okay they don't want it back I don't throw things away so I figure in Big Clive style we're just gonna tear this thing to bits <laughs> and see what we can do with it uh, at least we can have an educational experience on what's actually inside these chargers ouch um, but anyhow if you all have ordered one off of eBay and it looks like that and it just says what fast wireless charging stand um, ROHS compliant, whatever that means, I don't know. Be kind, recycle. <laughs> but you see tons of these on eBay. Fast, all it says is fast charge. It's, you know, it's just a real generic uh, charger from China. So anyhow, I'm going to take my favorite little toolkit. Like I say, I'm not endorsing them, but I love this little toolkit. It's $19.95. It's from iFixit. I'll have a link in the description. So, uh, what we're going to need 
is, let's see. Let's see what the screws are on here. Let's see if you look real careful. And that's another reason I want to tear it to bits is because it actually has screws. I'm surprised being from China and being so cheap that, that it's not uh, just glued together. But uh, I got to look into that and I was like, if it's got screws, I can take it apart. So let's take it to bits and see what we can find here. Let's do a little autopsy and see what might be the problem here. So let's, uh, I'll fast forward to the unscrewing. Y'all don't need to be seeing me meticulously unscrewing screws. I'm thinking there might be some under these feet. Um, a big Clive, he's got a, he's got what they, he calls a bodger. <laughs> uh, and this cool the iFixit toolkit comes with one. It's got a little fancy handle. His ain't quite as fancy. So let's try this out a little bit. See what we got going. I don't want to break it because if, if I can get it to work, because what I'm thinking is under here, there's going to be just a coil, hopefully just taped or something. Anyhow, let's pull this. No, something's still holding it. Okay, let's see. Okay, these feet, there's probably screws under these feet. So let's uh, try these little rubber feeties. Come out there. Really? I'm sure they're just, yeah, they're just glued on there. Oops. Nope. No screw under that one. What is these little screws? Good lord. You have to make them so small. Let's put that back. Okay, let's see what we got under here. I'll bet there's some under here. Because it's not given, so there's got to be something going on. Ah, yeah, there it is. There's the culprit. So anyhow, never force anything. If it ain't coming, there's a reason. Something's got it stuck. And that's what had it stuck. Yeah. Put the little feet off to the side. Let's undo these screws. kind of funny that like I say they use screws because you figure uh, if they were to use uh, oh, they call it FM sound uh, welding which they do on a lot of plastics you'd never be able to get it apart but it would save money let's see what's under here ah there it is there's our two coils that's our portrait coil and our landscape coil. And guess what? Y'all see what I'm saying? <laughs> They've stuck it in there. It's, 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 it, I think it should be up here because you can see the wires. They, uh, it's at the factory. They, let's see, let's see how this is stuck in here. Please don't be glued. Do I hear tape? Ah. Careful. It looks like slate up underneath this. Oh, good. It's just taped on there. So what we're going to do... <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut the scene real here. I'm going to want to take some tape. Because it's already got sticky, but I'm going to take some tape to make sure that it holds. So cut the scene. Give me some tape. Okay. Got my little piece of tape. Just some duct tape, and that's just going to stick this. So, because what I want to do, is if you can see, it's on the other side. Oh, it's all sticky. It's just one big stick, one big sticker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up as far as I can get it up, 
Now, you know, I'd say that if somebody bought this with just a regular iPhone 8, it probably would have worked. There, get it centered. I'll push that down, make sure it sticks real good. Now, you can see how much further up that is? Just to make sure that it does not come down anymore. Take my duct tape. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. It looks like the backing on there is like just a piece of slate or something. It's some kind of non-magnetic. I don't know why they didn't just use like a real hard cardboard or something. That's weird. Anyhow, and you can see they're not playing. I mean, there's definitely... There's definitely some stuff going on on that circuit board. So, uh, and you can see now that it's up. So let's see, let me, before I put this all back together, let's just have a quick look. Let's see what happens. Okay, before I, because that's the one thing you always do when you're in electronics is once you think you've got something fixed, don't ever put it back together until you test it. Oh little bear down little bear. he decided he wanted to play Cupert there you go <laughs> so anyhow let's plug him back in let's see what happens here okay, the light comes on okay that's a good sign so it's on let's see what happens fingers crossed <laughs> would you look at that would you look at that there you go there you go ladies and gentlemen <laughs> uh so let me see okay, let me put it back and poof hey now let's see if it works in portrait mode like it was supposed to because now everything's oriented boom look at that you see that? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Here we go. You ready? Boop. Would you look at that? <laughs> so that actually worked. And that's all I, all I had to do. It was just a, a misplacement of the, of the uh, coils. So, I'm not going to bore you all with putting the screws back in. I think we all know how to... If you can take a screw out, you know how to put it back in. Uh, so I'm just going to start putting this in while I'm talking to you all. Uh, now one thing I am going to do, because it's not fair to the seller, um, I am going to contact them and I'm going to give them the $9 back because that's not fair. Uh, just because, you know, I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that I'm going to you know, tell everybody, hey, uh, get one of these off of eBay, and if it don't work, call them and, and, and raise a stink about it, and uh, they'll refund your money, and then do this fix, and then you'll have a free QI charger. No, that's not what this is about. What this is about is if you order one of these, first of all, it's cheap. $9. I think it was $9.99. Um, so to begin with, it's cheap, you know, <laughs> and, uh, what you need to do is what I'm doing here before, before you, uh, reach out and complain, uh, just do this because if you, all you have to have is a piece of duct tape. In fact, I don't know the duct tape might even, because the whole back of that was sticky. But I put a piece of duct tape on there just to make sure that it'll stick. Okay, now that I've put a couple of screws in there, let's make real sure. Plug it in. Okay. Aim on. Let's see. Boom. Hey. Hey, there's my... <laughs> okay. That part gets blurred out. I don't think y'all need to see my medic alert crap. Uh, oops. Okay. So it's working, as you can see. Take it off, it stops. Put it on, and it starts charging. Is that ain't cool? And portrait mode. I mean, 
landscape mode. Okay, so it's working. So that was a quick fix for that. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm definitely gonna reach out and I'm gonna tell them that, you know, I wanna give them their money back. They gave, they were nice enough to tell me they you know, that the shipping was just too much of a headache. So how about your money back? And I'm like, I really wanted one. Um, so if you refund the money, I'll probably just order another one. But I got to thinking, before I do that, let me, you know, because my analytical brain and being in electronics, I thought, if there's any, especially when I first put my phone on there and I got it to come into range, of course it was, instead of here, it was up here. <laughs> instead of here, it was down here. I was like, okay, the near field coils are working, but they're not in the right spot. So, um, anyhow, oh crap, I didn't, uh, I haven't ordered one yet. So like I said, I'm, I'm going to reach out to the seller and, uh, I'm going to tell them, say, hey, listen, I fixed this. And boom. And, uh, you know, it's not right for me to keep your money. Uh, and we'll see what they say. It, it probably be pretty cool to see what they have to say. Because I'm sure that people that have done that um, and fixed them haven't said anything to them. So we'll see. I don't know. But I, like I say, I can't just keep the money. But if you order one of these off of eBay or Amazon or anyway, because I'm sure all, all of these different sites, they sell them in, you know, it's generic, it says fast charge, uh, made in China. If you get one of these and it don't work, like with mine, try this fix. If it fixes it, hey, cool. You know, if it don't, you know, at least you tried. And all you need is just a little, I don't know. Let's see, whoa, I can't, don't want to focus, does it? Here it goes. Let's see what size that is. It's a pH level zero, whatever that means. It's a Phillips screw head. There we go, pH double zero, so. A Phillips screw head. Um, that's all you have to do to take it apart. Uh, and as far as maybe needing one of these budgers, you don't really, you could probably just use a kitchen knife if you don't have. But like I say, the, this is one of the most awesomest toolkits. Uh, now, actually, it's designed to uh, take apart iPhones, cell phones, and fix them. You know, it's got tweezers and it's got all different. Uh, it's also got, I call it a guitar pick. It's got a bunch of them <laughs> for uh, prying stuff loose. Oh, crap. I swear, I have butterfingers. Anyhow, uh, it's 1995. See, and this, what this is for is when you're when you're taking a phone to bits. Uh, oh, come on. You stick that to the screen, and that's so you can pull the screen off when you're doing it. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm not going to do it because... I have bad luck with cell phones. Uh, if I did that, it would probably actually pull the screen off, and I don't want to do that. But uh, this is just the coolest little kit, man. In 1995, man, you can't beat it. And it's really good quality, too. Uh, anyhow, I've been babbling on long enough. <laughs> I hope you all appreciate this. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I'm, I'm excited I got it fixed. <laughs> uh, I don't have to buy another one, you know, I don't have all that hassle or anything. Um, anyhow, God bless everybody. Appreciate y'all watching, and uh, tune in later for my, whatever happens next in this weird menagerie of Kentucky Rangers uh, office. <laughs> my office slash workstation slash everything else I do in here. <laughs> anyhow, y'all take care. God bless.